In this video, let us see Crank Nicholson method. The formula is lambda by 2 u i minus 1 comma j plus 1 plus lambda by 2 u i plus 1 comma j plus 1 minus lambda plus 1 into u i comma j plus 1 is equal to minus lambda by 2 u i minus 1 comma j minus lambda by 2 u i plus 1 comma j plus lambda minus 1 into u i comma j where lambda is equal to k by a h square. So this is the general formula for crank nicholson method uh, for any value of lambda. Next we can simplify this formula by substituting lambda is equal to 1. So here we have taken lambda is equal to 1 here. If you put lambda is equal to 1 in the general equation, this last term vanish. This lambda is equal to 1 if you put 1 minus 1 0. So this term vanish. So remaining term will be if you reduce it, it will give you u i comma j plus 1 is equal to 1 by 4 into sum of these values. So here since lambda is equal to 1, this uh, give you 1 equal to k by a h square or otherwise we can write k is equal to a h square. So in case of crank nicholson method, the relation between k and h is k is equal to a h square. So that here to remember this uh, formula for a crank nicholson method, we can use this diagrammatic representation. So here first let us consider the points like this. Actually, suppose if you want to find out u i comma j plus 1. So, this is the left hand side here i comma j plus 1. So, if you consider this particular point is u i comma j plus 1. So, the neighboring point this will be what u uh, i plus 1 comma j. That is it varies along x direction. So the right side it will be i plus 1. Similarly left side it will be u i minus 1 comma j plus 1. Right. Similarly what about these two points. These two points here it will be u i plus 1 comma j. Similarly this point will be u i minus 1 comma j. Right. So that here we are taking the to identify this particular point we are taking the average of these four points. So this becomes the formula. So if you look at this formula it is 1 by 4 into sum of four terms. So we can say that average of these four values. Okay. So if we notice this this u i minus 1 comma j is nothing but this term right next u i plus 1 comma j is this term similarly u i minus 1 comma j plus 1 is this and i plus 1 comma j plus 1 is this one so we are adding all these values and dividing by 4 okay so instead of that we can say that average of these four values so this becomes the formula to find out the value of u i comma j plus 1 so like this instead of uh, remembering this formula uh, this is the easiest way to uh, use this diagrammatic representation now let us move on to the first question Using Rank Nicholson method, solve dou square u by dou x square is equal to 16 into dou u by dou t and x is uh, uh, given in the range 0 to 1 and t greater than 0. Along with this, these three boundary conditions given. Here we have to compute u for one time step in t direction by taking h is equal to 1 by 4. So first thing what I told you here is first we have to consider what is a. From the given question a is nothing but the coefficient of dou u by dou t so it is given to be 16. So take a is equal to 16 and what is given h is given to be 1 by 4. Now we want to calculate k. Already for crank nicholson method we know the relation between k and h is k is equal to a h square. So now you put the value of a and h. a is 16 already and h is 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 whole square is 1 by 16. So this and this get cancelled so finally we are getting k is equal to 1 and moreover if instead of 1 by 4 if you want you can write it as 0.25 also right. Now we have to uh, start the calculation uh, before that we have to write the uh, boundary values okay. So first let us consider the axis like this right this is x and this is t. So here we are starting x varies from 0 to 1. 
so we are starting from 0 uh, by having h is equal to 0.25 so next value will be 0 0.25 0 0.5 0.75 and then 1 so these are the range of x what about t here t star greater than 0 so first value 0 what about the second value since k is equal to 1 the second value will be 1 0 plus 1 is 1 so here the question is given to find or to compute u for one time step one time step means we have to find out only one step okay so here we are uh, we are uh, taking or considering the value for t is equal to 1 alone so t is equal to 1 is step 1 if they ask you the same question for two time step then you have to write it for 2 and then for this 2 also you have to find out the value so here we want to find out only for one time step so this is step 1 so we can find out for one time step it's enough now to write the boundary condition first boundary condition u of 0 comma t u of 0 comma t means uh, x equal to 0 x equal to 0 represents the first column so here we have to substitute 0 that is u of 0 comma t equal to 0 that is u takes the value 0 for uh, x equal to 0 and for all values of t so for t equal to 0 also 0 for t equal to 1 also u takes the value 0 so this represents the first column so i have written the boundary condition like this similarly what about u of 1 comma t 1 comma t means x is equal to 1 and for various values of t so that represents the last column so 1 comma t is given to be 100 t so when u that is x equal to uh, 1 is this and t is equal to 0 if t equal to 0 here it becomes 100 into 0 it will be 0 so put 0 here again for x equal to 1 and t is equal to 1 uh, what will be the function value u 100 into 1 is 1 so here you put 100 is it clear so the last column represents u of 1 comma t equal to 100 t depending upon the value of t here you have to substitute so since t is equal to 0 it gives you 0 when uh, t is equal to 1 it gives you 100 suppose if they ask you to find two time step now you have to include one more uh, t value here it will be 2 so when t is equal to 2 here the function will be 100 into 2 it will be 200 here okay so here in this question we need to find only one time step so we can stop up to this now uh, we have written first column we have written the last column and we have to write the first row first row is given by this function that is this condition boundary condition u of x comma 0 is equal to 0 so for any value of x when t is equal to 0 u is considered as 0 so this is first row represents t equal to 0 for any value of x that is when x equal to 0 0.25 u0 when x equal to 0 0.5 u0 similarly here okay for all values of x or for any value of x when t is equal to 0 the value of u is 0 so here we have written 0 everywhere so now what we have to find out here these are the boundary condition so these things everything what i have written so far is given in the question itself just using the question the data given in the question we have written everything okay now we have to move on to the calculation what we have to find out here is we have to find out the solution what is the value of u in these three places so this is the answer we have to find out so now how to find out here is we have to remember the diagrammatic representation now we shall assume this value u1 and this value as u2 and this value as u3 now our aim is to find out the three values u1 u2 u3 the unknown values now we have to use the diagrammatic representation here so what is the diagrammatic representation for crank nicholson method diagrammatic representation is you have to remember like this two values lies horizontally and the remaining two values diagonally we have to take and we have to take the average of these four values now 
if you want to write the formula for u1 it is 1 by 4 into 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus u2 so finally i can write u1 equal to u2 plus 4 sorry u2 divided by 4 so this is one equation right next is how to write it for u2 so how to write it for u2 for u2 these two values and these two values so u2 formula is u1 plus u3 plus remaining both the values are 0 0 so divided by 4 so this is a formula for u4 sorry u2 next for u3 what is the formula here remove this now for u3 these four values right so what happened here u2 plus 100 divided by 4 now we have to solve these three equation to get the value of u1 u2 u3 that's it so if you solve you'll be getting the answer for u1 u2 u3 that will be the solution to the given problem so from this what we can do here is since uh, u2 is in terms of u1 u3 whereas u1 is in terms of u2 again u3 is in terms of u2 we can substitute u1 u3 here so that uh, what we can do here is in this equation you can substitute for u1 and u3 so taking 1 by 4 common u1 is u2 by 4 hmm? plus u3 is what u2 plus 100 divided by 4 so now what happened here everything we are having in terms of u2 uh, that is u2 is equal to this okay if you simplify this i'll be getting the answer as u2 is equal u2 is equal to 7.1429 After finding u2, that is 7.1429, we can substitute this value of u2 in equation one, that is u1. So if we substitute here u2 as 7.1429, it'll be getting the answer for u1 as u1 is equal to 1.7857. Similarly, you can substitute this u2 over here to find out u3. So that from this we obtain u3 is equal to 26.7857. So this is the value for u1 and this is u2 and this is u3. So since here they have asked for one time step, uh, we have to find out u1, u2, u3, and these are the values of u1, u2, and u3. Now let us see practice problem. Solve by Krank-Nicholson method. The equation dou square u by dou x square is equal to dou u by dou t subject to the boundary conditions given. For two time steps, you have to find out. So first, let us uh, take a is equal to one because it is given here. A is equal to one, and then here h is not given in the question. So let us assume h is equal to one by four. If you take h is equal to one by four, then uh, k is equal to a h square gives you one by sixteen. So k takes the value one by sixteen. So that here, uh, since h is equal to one by four, actually x varies from zero to one. That is, x varies from zero to one with the interval length h is equal to one by four. One by four is nothing but zero point two five. So that what we have written here, starting from zero, point two five, point five, point seven five, and one. So like this, x term varies. Similarly, what about t here? T starts from zero, and since k is equal to one by sixteen, next value will be one by sixteen. Again, the next value will be two by sixteen, three by sixteen. It goes on like this. But here, since they have given you to find out for two time steps, it's enough to write two. steps alone that is one is for 1 by 16 another row for 2 by 16 okay apart from this these for this first row represents the boundary values right apart from the boundary value we need to find two steps so we are considering uh, one step as u1 u2 u3 and for the another step we have to calculate u4 u5 u6 now if you look at to the boundary conditions u of 0 comma t is equal to 0 means u takes the value 0 uh, 
uh, when x is equal to 0 and for all values of t. So, this represents column 1 because column 1 is uh, for x is equal to 0 and various values of t, u takes the value 0. Similarly, next condition is u of 1 comma t equal to 0 which means that when x is equal to 1 is fixed for all values of t. So, this is the column where x is equal to 1. For different values of t, what is u? u is equal to t itself. So, here first uh, row, here uh, first element in the last column is 0 because t is equal to 0. Similarly, 1 by 16 here because t is equal to 1 by 16. Here 2 by 16 because here t is equal to 2, 2 by 16. So, like this we have to write. And what about the uh, third boundary condition? u of x comma 0 is equal to 0. So, here u takes the value 0. When t is equal to 0 means first row represents t is equal to 0 for various values of x u should be 0. So, we have placed 0 everywhere in the first row. So, like this first we have to write down the boundary values. After that we can assign the unknowns as u1, u2, u3. Similarly, u4, u5, u6 and then as usual you have to use the diagrammatic representation to calculate or to write down the equation for u1 separately equation for u2 and separately equation for u3. Then we can solve those three equation to find out the value of u1, u2, u3. Then after getting u1, u2, u3, then making use of this, we can calculate u4, u5, u6 in a similar manner. So if you apply the formula, if you solve, you'll be getting the values of these unknowns. So this you can practice by yourself.